blessings, it's Mark the Messenger. Back in our video, this one's gonna be about how to feel the, the Holy Spirit presence in your life, how to feel God's presence in your life. Man, this video is gonna be very, very edifying. And if you ever backslid before, if you ever fell away from God, or strayed away from God, uh, if you ever, you know, did things that were not pleasing in His sight and you wanna get right with God, or maybe you lost your fire for God, this video is for you. If you want to restore your fire back for God, I'm going to give you guys some steps, things that I did when I backslid, when I fell short, uh, when I did things that, you know, wasn't pleasing God's sight and when I wanted to get right with him. Not just repentance, which I'm going to talk about in a bit too, but also these things too, man. This video is going to be so good. So don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. The number one thing, man, the number one thing you want to do when you stray away from God, when you fall short, you know, things of that nature, or maybe you want to get your fire back, you know, is fasting. This is so important, okay? Now, I wrote down 24 hours to 72 hours. That's what I would do. Now, you some, there's some times where I fasted seven days. I fasted five days. Now, if you want to go that far, you want to make sure your health is, uh, is in, you know, right. Consult your doctor because that's a, lo a long time. So that's why I just put 24 hours, 72 hours, okay? The Bible says that when you fast, God will reward you, okay? When you're fasting, you are pretty much denying your flesh and building up your spirit back up. And the more you build your spirit back up, your spirit is now going to is now going to rage war against your flesh, which means that you're no longer going to want to do the things that you were doing that was making you fall short, that was making you stray away, away from God, that was making you lose your fire for God, which is all sin. Okay, when you live in your life in willful sin and disobedience, and you want to get start starting it right with the Creator, humble yourself and start fasting. I'm telling you, bro. There's so, and not only that too, there's so many more benefits to fasting too as well. I have multiple videos on fasting, so if you guys want to get deeper into that subject, just type in Mark the Messenger Fasting on YouTube, will pop up. But the main thing about fasting, one thing I learned through, through my times I fasted over 50, 100 times, is that my, my flesh is being denied and my spirit is being lifted up and I feel like I want to, I want to, that, that presence of the Holy Spirit is on fire, bro, like straight up. Okay, so I recommend everyone even if you, you're still on fire for God, you know, start implementing some fasting in your routine. It doesn't have to be every day. Now, if you're led to do it every day, then hey, you know, do it every day. But I say at least once a week. It keeps your, um, it keep, it makes you have more rule over your flesh. Okay, you can be more in control and more disciplined. And I feel like as uh, followers of Christ, that we should be doing that, being more disciplined. Okay, and you, you know, so that's 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 key, man. And also, if those who want to start practice fasting, if you haven't already, read Isaiah chapter 58. It talks about the purpose of a fast and you know to break free from the cords of wickedness to break free from the strongholds uh to break free from sin man so fasting is key all right and also says in matthew chapter 6 verse 16 to 18 don't be like the hypocrites don't tell everybody you're fasting don't look sad and you know appear to, you know appear to other man that you're fasting because your reward won't be from god okay and sometimes the reward from god you know, a lot of people look at blessings as, you know, material things or like physical things. And not to say that God can't bless you with that, but sometimes a blessing could be getting your fire back. Sometimes a blessing could be, you know, your spirit being on fire, bro, I'm telling you. That could be a reward from God. We got to start looking at things spiritually too, okay? Number two, the second thing, also remember, none of this is in order, okay? But the second thing is submitting to God and resisting the devil, okay? And also I highlighted this because it's key because when you start to do that, when you start to submit to God, when you, when you start to, you know, uh, leave the strongholds, leave the willful sin, leave the bad habits, uh, addictions, uh, maybe like bad friends or family members that, you know, you're not supposed to be around. Okay, once you start to do that, you have to prepare for war. You have to have the armor of God on. Okay, so that's, that's key, okay? That is very key. Submitting, submitting to God and resisting the devil and he shall flee from you, okay? Now, it's very important that you submit to God, okay? What does it mean to submit to God? It means to surrender, okay? So to surrender and do his will. So that's why I had to highlight this, guys, because every time you do that, you got to expect the devil to attack you. And one thing the devil, he will do, he will attack you in many ways, okay? That's for a whole different video. But one thing he will do, he'll mess with you in your dreams. He will use the people around you. Like, let's say there was like a stronghold or a sin that you used to do with a certain individual, okay? And he's going to use that person to like, you know, come back and to tempt you, okay? That's what he's going to do. Remember, some people, they don't even know they're being used by the devil. If anyone's not walking with God, if anyone doesn't have the Holy Spirit, they could be used, okay? I'm telling you all some real stuff. Some people don't want to accept this because it's a harsh truth, but it's a fact. If someone does not have the Holy Spirit, they could be used by the devil, okay? To try to, you know, get you to, um, lead, get you to go astray, all right? So remember, submit to God, resist the devil, and he'll flee from you, okay? You got to give up the willful sin. That's all what it correlates to, giving up the willful sin. All right, number three. 
is to meditate on the word day and night. Meditate on the precepts, okay? The thing of what meditating does on the word of God is it keeps your mind focused and centered on him. It's no longer the distractions because sometimes on this narrow path, we can kind of get distracted, okay, with whatever whatever it could be. It could be people or maybe some things, okay? So when you're meditating on the word of God, one thing that has helped me on my walk is I'm focused on him, you know? And if the distractions do pop up, I'm not even phased by it. I'm not even focused on that because I'm focused on the word. And as I start to get more spiritually mature and, it, you know, and, you know, continue to walk with Christ, I notice that when I meditate on the word of God, it kind of comes naturally now. Like, I don't have to come sit on the couch. I'm not saying you can't do this, but I'm just saying for my testimony, I don't have to sit on the couch and just, you know, pick what verse to meditate. Kind of just comes, flows naturally, especially the things that I'm going through in life, like a Bible verse will just pop up. And that's why it's important too, to study the word, to show yourself approved, you know, make sure you're actually knowing the word. And, you know, don't just wait on your pastor. Don't just wait till Sunday service or don't just wait for a YouTuber to tell you, you know, when, uh, when to read the Bible or, you know, learning Bible from that person. Make sure that you're reading it for yourself. The Bible says to study to show yourself approved. So always keep that in mind. As you start to get more spiritually mature, meditating is going to become like a natural thing. You know how it's natural for us to brush our teeth? It's natural for us to take a shower. It's kind of like the same thing as I learned walking with Christ when it comes to meditating on the word. It kind of just comes naturally. And I find myself doing this every single day, you know. So I feel like that's very important. And the main uh, purpose of meditating is on to keep your mind centered on him. Okay, on Christ, the things he did, and on God. Okay, so quick little summary. So fasting, submit to God, resist the devil, and he'll flee from you. And remember, you got to prepare, prepare for war, so have the armor of God on, so you can see the enemy's schemes. Number three is meditate on the word day and night. Okay, I put some Bible verses too, if you guys want to uh, look it up. And number four is living a lifestyle that seeks repentance and after God's heart. Okay, so living a lifestyle that seeks repentance. So we're all going to fall short on this journey, on this walk. We're all gonna make mistakes. So we wanna have that lifestyle that seeks repentance. So we wanna be repenting every single day. And the Bible does say if a man says he's without sin, he is a liar and the truth is not in him, okay? So we wanna be repenting every single day, even for the sins that we're doing that we don't even know we're doing, okay? Sometimes it could be it could be gluttony. Sometimes it could just be sometimes the thoughts we, we entertain. So always keep in mind that every single day, you know, humbling ourselves and repenting, even the things that we don't even know what we're doing, okay? So always keep that in mind. And also seeking after God's heart. We saw what happened with David and how um, out of all the men at the time, David was the only one who was seeking after God's heart, okay? God loves to look for people like that. Think about the times and relationships. We want to grow, we, like, we would love to have a woman. I can't, I can't, I'm not a woman, so I can't speak for the other side, but like, we would love to have a woman who's really, you know, who really, really about us, bro, right? It's the same thing with God. He wants some, he wants his, his son or his daughter out there to be really about, really about that life. Okay, so to be really about that life, you're gonna have to seek his heart, okay? So always keep that in mind, seeking after God's heart and, you know, doing the will, okay? Which goes to number uh, four. Also, check this out too, if you guys wanna look it up. Acts chapter 13, verse uh, 22, and then 1 Samuel chapter uh, four, uh, 14. Also too, uh, getting baptized. If you haven't already, I recommend everyone get baptized. I have a video on this. I think the title is called How to Be Self-Delivered. Um, and, you know, so getting baptized if you haven't ready, you know, so you receive the Holy Spirit. So that's key. That's key. If you haven't ready, um, you could maybe go to a church. You could find a friend, you know, another believer, of course. And just, I mean, if you can look up online, there's people who do it all around the world for baptism. So I recommend everyone, if you haven't ready, get baptized. Okay. Number five is doing the will of God. Okay. And obedience. Okay. That's what it all comes down to, guys. All this, every single one. Where's my marker at? My marker is somewhere right there. Let me grab it. All this correlates, guys. Every single thing correlates to this right here. Your obedience. This is what. This is the main thing, man. This is the main thing over here. This is the main thing. All right. All this one to six all correlates to obedience. So getting your fire back, restoring the lost fire you had for God. Um, maybe you backslide and you want to get back up. Remember, the Bible says that the righteous falls seven times and he rises up again. So how do you rise up again, man? Your obedience, man. Your true love for God. And that also correlates to seeking after God's heart. Okay? So doing the will of God. Remember, keeping the commandments of God. Keeping the faith in Christ. Okay? And, you know, that's like I said, guys. This is this is what we have to be striving for in this last hour. Because we are in the, in the last days, man. Got to be striving for obedience. This is what's going to keep our oils in our lamps. Okay? Right here. This right here. Okay? Remember, the Bible talks about that in the parable. I'm sure most of you guys already know of it. The ten virgins that had the five wise ones and the five foolish ones. The five wise ones, the reason why they made it, okay, is because they were obedient. The five foolish ones, they were disobedient. They were in darkness, okay? 
And they came to knock. To, they told Christ, let us in, but it was too late. And you don't want to be like that. You don't want to be living for God now. You don't want to wait till the last moment because you never know. He might not let you into the kingdom if you're out here waiting for the last minute. So every single day, guys, it's, 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 I know it's hard. I know sometimes we struggle. But, you know, through our faith, nothing can separate us through Christ. All right. Number six is seeking the kingdom of God and his righteousness daily. This is my favorite Bible verse. Or one, I have so many favorites. I can, I can say it till I can, I, I can say it till at least like twenty Bible verses. But I feel like this right here is what really will transform your life if you really apply it to your life. And you know, of course, you want to be patient. You don't want to just you know meditate on this for a day and then expect something else to happen. No, you really want to. You really have to believe this, bro. Seeking God's kingdom daily, okay, which all go all correlates to all this. What I just said, right? And His righteousness, not living in willful sin. All right, being obedient. All right, seeking God's kingdom daily and his righteousness and all things shall be added to you. So yes, you want that fire back from God, it will be added to you if you seek God's kingdom and his righteousness, okay? This is this is a, such an important video and I'm also gonna be making a video sometimes th this week or next week, which is gonna correlate to this video and that video is gonna be fire, bro. So y'all stay tuned for that. But yes, guys, this is how to feel the Holy Spirit and gain that fire back, okay? Like I said, some, some of us, not everyone, can maybe backslide, maybe you're struggling with a sin, Okay, whatever the case may be, this is how you get your, your fire back. And those who are chosen, we're always going to rise back up, back up again. We're always going to get our strength back up again. Always, and always. Okay, because remember, God chose us. All right, so we no longer are living for our own van. We're no longer living for our own selves. We're living for a purpose because God called us. All right, so the number one thing, guys, is fasting. I put 24 to 72 hours. Like I said, you can go as long as you want, whatever you're led to. All right, number two is submit to God and resist the devil. And always prepare yourself for war, spiritual warfare, and have the, a full armor of God on. Number three is to meditate on the word day and night. Number four is living a life that seeks repentance and after and seeking after God's heart. Number five is doing the will of God in obedience. Okay. Number six is seeking the kingdom of God and His righteousness. Oops, right, His righteousness daily. If you guys made it this far and you guys want to bless this video and get other people to watch it too as well, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video too on all social media platforms or maybe to share it to your friends. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.